Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, write sample code to select browser depending on parameter given in TestNG XML file. Let me answer this and practically demonstrate for you. So first we need to create a parameter in TestNG XML file which can pass the browser name to the TestNG test method. And after that particular test method receives this parameter value as a browser name from TestNG XML file based on the received browser name, the automation script need to run in the test method on that particular browser. For that, what we have to do in a practical way, I'm going to demonstrate in this session. For that, I'll first switch to this uh, Eclipse IDE where we have the sample TestNG project. Okay, so I'll first directly go to the TestNG XML file. Let me open this TestNG XML file. So here in this TestNG XML file, already there is one parameter. I'll remove this and I'll create a new parameter here. Parameter name is equal to, I'll just give the name as browser. I'll say value. Let's say value, I'll give it as uh, edge. Okay. Edge browser I'm giving. That's it. So this is what I have to do to create a parameter in TestNG XML file. Okay. Once this is done, go to the class where the test engine test method is available. Okay. And here beside the editor test annotation, not beside on the top of editor test annotation, write editor parameters annotation. Okay. Mention this editor parameters annotation on top of editor test. For the most, import this parameters annotation from test ng. After that is done, now put a square bracket in that put curly braces. Okay, if in case you have multiple parameters, curly braces will be useful. Okay, but anyhow, whether it is one or two doesn't matter for me. I generally prefer putting curly braces. Inside that, I have to provide the name of the parameter. The name of the parameter is browser. I'll copy and paste it here. That's it. Here I'll simply say string. I'll say browser name. Okay. Now here I will write the logic. If this browser name dot equals it equals to Chrome, then I'll write the logic like this. Web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Okay. Now for the mouse, import it. For the mouse, import this from Selenium Live. Else if this browser name dot equals, if it is equal to it equals Firefox. In that case, I'll write down web driver driver is equal to new Firefox driver. Now hold the mouse on this Firefox driver and import it from Selenium library. Else if browser name dot equals dot equals but it's equals to Chrome, Firefox, let's say Edge. Okay. Then I'll write down web driver, driver is equal to new Edge driver. Okay. If any other uh, browsers are there, for each and every browser, you can write this LC blocks uh, for the mouse on the Edge driver and import it from Selenium library. That's it. Okay. So this much logic is enough for now. And after that, I have to write down driver dot. But this driver will not be accessible here because every driver is local to that block, either if block or else if block. So I have to make it global. So I'll declare this web driver driver here on the top that is outside the if else if blocks. And uh, here, double declaration, I'll remove simply like this. Okay. And the next thing is I have to initialize it here with some null or something. Then here I can access now driver dot manage dot window dot maximize then driver dot get given URL 
for example, I will take this application URL that is uh, omaya.blogspot.com URL, copy this and uh, paste it here. That's it. Now let's see. So let's see whether we are getting the browser name from this testng XML file. And uh, once we receive that on that particular browser only, the script is executing or not. Okay. I'll simply directly go to the testng XML file and run this. Right click run as testng switch. So the script should run on the edge browser now because parameter value is provided as edge. On Edge browser, the script need to run now. Microsoft Edge web driver. Okay. You see, this is an Edge browser, guys. Bing option is also coming. You can click here and uh, you can see this is Microsoft Edge. On the Edge browser, the script has run. What if I go to the Testing XML file and change it to Chrome and run the script? This time, the script will run on Chrome browser not run on the edge browser rather it will run on the chrome browser you see on the chrome driver okay on the chrome browser the script is running how to confirm click on three dots go to help and say about google chrome okay done now what if i go to this and change it to firefox and run this right click run as testing switch this time the script will run on the firefox browser See, the script is running on the Firefox browser now. Okay, this is a Firefox browser. So, hope guys, you got the answer for this question with practical demonstration. So, that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.